Not what you were expecting, though. It just seemed like one of those nights where everything was just that much off. Yeah, no, and it's, uh, you know, disappointing for sure. You know, it was, uh, I think we came out, they were out working us. They definitely played a little more desperate, and that led to them, you know, leading the first half. And then we did get it to, I think, two there in the second half, but then we just kind of let it slip away. So, disappointing night, but, they're, you know, they're a really good team. I'm sure they were pretty mad uh, how we beat them last time, and we should have known they were going to, you know, we tried to talk to the guys about it, but. They like, you know, I think, uh, you know, some nights you're the hammer, some nights you're the nail. We've been the hammer a lot. Well, if we got to be the nail tonight. You had a couple of stretches. I think you gave up the two shorthanded goals when it was 2-2, and then later on you gave up two real quick ones, and it seemed like that just had a little deflating aspect. Is that the way it looked to you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, you get that power play there, and you're thinking, all right, that we're going to get one here, or at least come out of it even. And, you know, a couple times we came out minus, minus one on uh, Minus two even on that one power play. So, but some nights that happens. You know what I mean? They they blocked a lot of shots, and you got to give a lot of credit to them. They they they're a good team, and they they took it to us tonight. It was a matter of just them game planning better after seeing you once this year, or, or maybe the guys were just a little tired after playing last night. What do you think the probably, reason for it was? Probably a little of both, right? And uh, again, they're they're a really good team. I mean, yeah. they're in the finals, won the finals a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and they were right there last year. So. They're no slouch, and you know they've been up and down this year. And tonight was an up night for them, and a down night for us. And you know this is a league where we didn't think we we're going to go 16 and two. Right. So <laughs> at, at the same time, you know you don't want to lose like that. But it, you know it doesn't matter if you lose by one or lose by ten. It's a loss, and we're going to learn from it. Think about it for about a half hour, and move on. We got a really tough team next week too, so can't dwell on it too much. What can you do as a coach? On these back-to-backs, when especially last night, you go to overtime and have something of an emotional comeback win. As a coach, coming into today, do you try anything? Can you rest anybody? It's obviously a uh, well, difficult know, situation. Yeah, and all you can do is because uh, we always talk about focusing on the team you're playing that night. So all you did was prepare for Philly. Then we sent the guys clips and stuff, and they did watch them on their own. I could tell we talked about clips and this and that, and they they guys had some good questions and good suggestions. So they they did the work and. On a back-to-back, -back, that's really all you can do is try and send them some clips. And, you know, it's a tough travel day. We had, a, you know, a rough one coming back again. So the guys got to the hotel a little late, and it's better just to let them sleep than make them go sit through an hour film session. And, you know, it is what it is. We, we prepared as like we always do on a back-to-back, -back, and it, this time it just didn't work out. Is the tough part, Rich, that you had a chance to some breathing room in the east and Georgia goes gains ground instead of fades into the background a oh, for bit. sure, and, and yeah, I mean, we could have clinched a playoff spot tonight, right? That would have been really nice to do it at home in front of a nice crowd. But, like, again, this league's tough. There's not an easy game anywhere, and, you know, they're definitely going to be a top four or five team come the end of the year. They're going to be right there, you know, thinking championship. So we went one and one with them this year, and I, I think we actually won the, the goal differential, so that's, that's a plus to come out of it. And, again, just regroup and get ready for uh, Saskatchewan. Speaking of uh, Saskatchewan, you guys played them next Saturday. What's it going to take to uh, come away with a road win? Uh, obviously, a uh, uh, long travel for you guys going into that one. Yeah, just really uh, prepare, you know, really well. Stick to our game plan, and you know, it's going to be tough playing there. They get a great crowd. It's loud. It's tough to talk on defense. So, you know, we're going to have to be on point. And they're really starting to come around now. They were struggling earlier, and they're, you know, really picked it up this past uh, two, three weeks. So, it's going to be a battle. And you know, like. Everyone is saying, oh, Philly's dead last. You know, there's not an easy game in this league. And there are tougher games. <laughs> They're all tough, but there are tougher games. And Saskatchewan's going to be a tougher game. So we'll just leave it at that and prepare for them and go about our business like we always do.